Hi Libra, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Libra, this is a special tarot reading session for you, Libra. I hope you are doing well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today, Libra, this is a what's written in the stars for your sign in 2024, okay? So we will be looking into what are the major offers, changes, transformation that you will get in love, money, career, and general life situation. Okay? This is for the Libra sign. Thank you so much, guys, for connecting with me. Thank you so much, guys, for being here. Please don't forget to click the bell and click the subscribe button, Libra, okay? So this is your full year channeled message. What can I get for this, uh, the Libra sign? We will also look into your spiritual message. What is the theme of your full year 2024 reading? This is for your sign. Thank you so much, guys, for being here. Thank you so much, guys, for your support. What is the full year reading for the sign of Libra? I'll probably do a quarterly. I will divide it in four, um, four parts. Um, first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, and fourth quarter, okay? This is a full year reading for the Libra sign. What is the guided message for the Libra sign, please? Okay. Thank you guys for your support. Thank you guys for being here. I really, really appreciate all of you. I hope this 2024 brings us all of the wishes all of the love, all of the abundance that we could ever have in this world, Libra. What is your guided message? Quarter reading, quarterly. What can I get for the Libra sign? All right. Okay, guys, I am being advised to start here. Okay, bottom part of the reading, bottom part of that spread. So, let's start with January, February, and March. Let's look into the first quarter of 2024. You know, what are the major offers, transformation, changes, and in life inspiration, including spiritual message that we could get for the Libra sign. So you're starting the reading with the Tower card, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Five of Pentacles in here. Um, so the coming 2024, I feel like the Tower card, this is quite a unique adventure. The early part of 2024, Libra, I'm kind of picking up that you thought your action, because the Tower card, this is a, this is a surprise. Uh, but the way this surprise, there's a surprising situation that would really, you're starting 2024 with a surprising vibe. And I feel like this tower card, it was something of an action you did in 2023. So you did some, you figure out something in 2023, you took an action and you will be surprised that the outcome is actually more than what you expected okay let's see let's go further oh the queen of wands the ace of wands the two of pentacles for some of you interestingly it could be the last the last two to three months of december 2023 if you notice it feels like all of those things that you said no you keep pushing back because it's two of pentacles i don't want that i don't want this you're very picky so the last two to three months of 2023 there is a possibility that you keep saying no for every no you will get a yes okay so surprisingly you're starting the month of surprisingly 2024 for you with january month the queen of wands this is someone that this is a surprising alliance okay you keep getting a no you keep saying no it could be you saying no to this person or it could be them saying no to you uh, surprisingly every time you say no in the past 
it turns out to be a yes. So one of those situations where you really, really stood your ground and said, I don't want this. This is what I want. You've lost it. Okay. There was something or somebody that looked. If you want me to work with you, or if you want me as a person, if you want me to collaborate with you, this is what I want. And they did not cooperate. They did not compromise. And things has fallen into the unknown. January 2024, you will be very, very surprised in such a good way because the Queen of Wands, the Ace of Wands, they bring you what you want. So this could be like business. This could also be love because the Two of Pentacles, they realize that your demand is actually very worth to explore or it could be like an idea. So the month of January 2024, those misunderstood idea in 2023, those people or situation that you you do not want to compromise or you don't want to negotiate which includes your pay rate which includes your values you know it, this this queen of wands it could be like a friend who treats you this or a lover or a relative or someone at work who treats you this you will push back so all of those effort to define this is what i want it will result into such a surprise in January 2024. I'm seeing two big situation, two situation, two person in the month of January 2024. They will give you an ace of wands. It means it means that they will submit to you. I'm also picking up. It could be earth work. So January 2024. There's a lot of surprising alliance, surprising offers, surprising attention, surprising reconnection from the past and these reconnection are those the ones that you push back those the ones that you don't want to compromise those situation or people that you've actually concluded that look this is my pay rate this is my standard this is my value this is what i want and i'm non-negotiable so those non-negotiable situation that you stood your ground in 2023 or in the last in the last two, three, six months of 2023, there were a couple of them, okay? They will return every week of January 2024, surprising offers. And these are the ones that you push back because it doesn't align to your journey. It will morph into the situation, the person, the offers, the rate, not even a compromise. It will be exactly what you want in here libra the queen of wands the ace of wands this this is the fruit of your labor this is you really defining your life this is you really write, writing what you want i don't know for some of you you set your intention this is my intention if i don't get it we shouldn't be working together we shouldn't be together i won't be here i won't put a single amazing energy oxygen <laughs> so you stood your ground you get what you want there's a delay but tower card surprising alliance surprising offer surprising alliance will pop the rest of january 2024 libra for you now the month of february you've got the knight of pentacles going towards feb march i feel like this is very connected so the second the second month of this year i'm quite curious about the timing for some of you this is around let's see let's pull one card the two of swords you've got the five of wands you've got the ten of pentacles in here so for some of you guys you could be you might miss an opportunity if january 2024 you've got a lot of surprising alliance that will connect with you february and march it's possible that you are not so grounded i'm kind of picking up that you could be two of swords five of wands you might miss a very big opportunity the universe is telling you two of swords five of wands there's conflict i'm kind of picking up there is a major conflict in feb 2024 a major conflict is going to happen in 2024 and you're being advised not to be impulsive because you might lose a very big deal or it could be like uh, you might disconnect with someone who's very special to you you will somehow be sad that you've lost the deal or you didn't get the deal 
or you've lost touch with this person. The 10 is here. It means that once your intuition is telling you that, hey, what you're doing is wrong, or hey, you're acting or speaking or your action is not in alignment of what your soul wants, this is a cue to take it back, okay? So the month of Feb and March is all about self-awareness and self-check-in Libra, where if you feel like, especially listening to your intuition is very, very important, especially the first week of February and the last week of February up until the full month of March, there is a very big conflict and it's connected to a special alliance. This alliance, it's better to compromise than to cut them off. Um, they give you a 10. Because um, it's going to split into two. So this, is, this feels like a separation. Don't go there. If you feel like you made a mistake, your intuition will guide you. So I want you to really stay focused into self-check-in, self-awareness, and really align what you want and listen to your intuition because your intuition is telling you, don't lose the deal. Don't lose this person. Don't say that. Don't be impulsive. The first three months of January 2024, it's all about... The first three months of January, sorry, the first three months of 2024, it's all about building a solid foundation. There should be no rush, okay? Especially Feb and March. There's a lot of competitiveness, but you're going to win them. There's a very special person or alliance that you would have a huge conflict. It's better to keep this person than to divide, than to disconnect, or than to break up. Your intuition may tell you that, hey, this is not a good idea. This is exactly what I hear. Your intuition will tell you or guide you it's not a good idea to disconnect with this person. Okay? Take note of that, my darling Libra. Okay? So take note of that. Now, let's go to the second quarter of... Um, the. Let's go to second quarter of 2024. You have the two of wands... This is around April, May, and June. Okay, I have to go over this. So, in the month of April, May, and June, what are the big changes, transformation, offers, spiritual message for you? Around the end of March, going to April, um, for some of you, for those single, ready to mingle, and looking for new love, the end of March, going towards the month of April. It is a month of love. It is a month of dating. It is a month where you will meet a lot of romantic prospects. I feel like March, between March to April, it is where solid lead connected to romance, connected to new friends, connected to new alliance will come forward and you don't even have to search for them, okay? Um, the universe is telling you, um, the Queen of Pentacles in here, the Sun card, the Chariot card. There is unexpected visitor, okay? I'm picking up that unexpected visitor, unexpected visit, unexpected, like something not planned. March, April, okay? Between March and April, new friends, new alliance, new lovers, new situation will start to come into play and it's very very fast the chariot card i'm seeing lots of new love lots of new interest lots of new situation lots of new friends um would like to connect with you two of wands now you could be avoiding surprising or unexpected thing like it's not on schedule i don't want to go there it's not on schedule i don't want to do that the universe is telling you those last minute changes that the universe will ping you is actually a redirect to meet new alliances, new business partners, or new lovers. So March and April, it is a month of unexpected, unplanned, not scheduled, no structure, I would say. It's a month where surprisingly you will meet this, a business partner in a travel, but March and April, be open to unstructured, 
no structure. It's like a playground. The universe will keep sending you people, situation, business, even ideas. The month of March and April. It's all about that. So be open to spontaneous, being spontaneous in March and April. Not only that, it will bring you new alliance, new friends, new situation. The universe is also advising you, Libra, two of wands. You could be very, you could be following a very detailed plan the universe is telling you throw the plan throw the structured plan because you need to be spontaneous march and april march and april it is a month of new love new alliance new business unexpected unplanned not in schedule so throw away being so fixed sated okay because the universe will that will throw you off a lot of unexpected changes unexpected situation it is meant for you to be spontaneous it is meant for you to be playful it is meant for you to explore and experiment and it's meant for you to enjoy it march and april is all about spontaneous being spontaneous and exploring it queen of queen of pentacles you're very spiky i don't maybe um maybe the queen of pentacles in here maybe there's a part of you that this is what i want very scheduled very structured but it might not be that way so the universe is telling you be in the mood to be surprised be 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 open to be surprised by the universe don't be spiky you know don't be moody okay so that's between you know march and april around the month of may the month of may it's quite comical i'm kind of picking up the word comical judgment card <clears throat> The magician card and the high priestess so the month of may it's very specific to family okay the month of may i'm kind of picking up you might be you might elope <laughs> or someone in the family will have a surprise pregnancy surprise marriage surprise proposal for some of you you could be traveling with family cruising with family high priestess the month of May, it's also a time where your spiritual ancestor will, like the relatives that has passed away, the month of May, it is where they are going to visit you in your dreams and give you dream intuition. Your guides will show up in your dreams, your ancestors. There is a lot of family activity, uh, family surprises. Uh, family drama but it will turn into a magical moment unforgettable moment unforgettable time spent with family it's very family oriented ancestor it's magical and also for some of you you might get some inheritance connected to family okay five of swords it's all about you know it's all about those people that you can't break up with them Okay, five of swords it's giving me the vibe. Well, that's blood, that's family. You can't break up with them. So you are being advised to be very patient. Okay. The month of May, it's all about being patient. The month of May, your third eye is so crazy, spot on. Because you are going to connect with your ancestor with a dream catcher. You're like a dream catcher in the month of May. You will get a lot of downloads in your dreams, and it's your spiritual ancestor that is telling you guides lucky things to do it would even give you a vision of some things that you would explore some things that or people that you're going to meet and it's because there is blood and there's magic in blood blood magic so the more you spend family in may the more you connect with your ancestor who gives you guidance blood magic okay your intuition is very spot on explore that now for the month of April, May, June, okay, it's raining X. <laughs> so the month of June, probably half, okay. So the month of June is all about X deal. I'm kind of picking up X deal. So it feels like the month of June, I'm kind of picking up that you have some unwanted or missed opportunity that would like to have an ex deal with you so this will include lovers it would include friends it would also include some previous ideas or plan or objective in life 
that you have archived and the universe because your month of may is very spiritual that your third eye in the month of may is lit it's very spiritual by the month of june you would see archive ideas or x deal or x person somehow you would see them in such a different light with the devil card like you could recycle yeah six of swords six of swords yeah look at that the eight of wands look at that ten of cups and you've got a two of wands i tell you the month the month of june it is a month where because you're spiritually so lit and so inspired with the people that you're going to hang out or the experience or the be i don't know but there's something magical about april and april and month april and may it's very magical it's spiritually going to supercharge you but by the month of june you would see that those missed opportunities or x deal or archive ideas you would know what to do your spiritual intelligence and your creative spirit is so freaking amazing that you would see why it didn't work and how you will make it work so i'm seeing in here x someone you dated i'm also seeing like a business or something connected to studying or a life objective that you stop doing that you would have the spiritual or creative idea how to start from it again or it could be like a relationship friendship and romantic i don't think it's connected to relative if there's some relationship in the month of june it's not connected to relative it's connected to business partner friendship and lovers you would know how to compromise you would know the magical words you would know the spiritual reason why like this is this is the month where you probably will compromise because you would understand the spiritual reason why you cannot have it why it didn't work out and you will compromise it's very grounded it's very humble and you will be very very happy that you gave it a second chances the month of june is all about second chances libra second chances okay so second chances turning the devil card into something magical so the third chapter or the third uh between july august september let's look into july august or the third quarter of 2024 i'm hearing the word revolution so the month of july it looks like you will have so much money or this is where you are the month of july it's some um, between july and august it's the month where you are going to fall in love with your life this is a month that is all about glam money abundance it's all about innovation it's all about you your money your success there's so much money i'm seeing in here there's so much achievement that you would you know it's a vibe where january to june you're working 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 hard objective working hard and then by the month of july and august this is where you reap your rewards the month of july and august you will fall in love with 2024 it could be a metaphor you know that you actually this is the month where your strongest relationship will be um inseparable you are inseparable with money inseparable with a relationship it's a revolution this is where you're going to soar this is the highlight of your 2024 july august going to your birthday month so september sorry july ooh ace of pentacles you will get a new job you'll get a new business you will get a new structure of pay in here there's new pay money money business there is a completion of something that will give you abundance money fame glory it's a revolution it is a revolution your life in the month of july and august it will never be the same because you are so famous or you're so stable or you're so inseparable with money or love libra the ace of pentacles in here yes look at that you are going to fall in love you're gonna get married you're gonna take the risk you're gonna take everything that life will offer you in love and money 
in the month of July and August. This is the highlight of your 2024. There's so much money, abundance, travel. This is also a month where you are going to be lavish with yourself. Nine in here. So it's possible that you're going to spend money to yourself or someone is going to be lavishly spending money to you. I'm seeing marriage. I'm seeing official commitment. I'm seeing in here you finally you're going to buy a house a car for some of you someone is going to give you a pet but you're going to fall in love in july and august it is a month where everything is easy everything is all about money making everything is all about fame and glory everything is about you libra and how you tap into that higher power of you such a nice month july and august i couldn't see um any sort of block in here just go 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 you don't even have to plan everything goes into you july and august now by the time you reach the month of september you crave for more there's something unforgettable that you will experience between july and august that you would like to keep this experience this financial stability or it could be an alliance it could be a romantic situation but there's something like I want to forever feel this way and because you want to feel this way you want to keep it you want to celebrate you want to be there's something in the month of July and August that this is the life that I want and because this is the lifestyle this is the life that you want the magician card the month of September you will maintain it it could also be like a lifestyle finally you're gonna reach a lifestyle where if you want it, you can buy it. You would have you as simple as that. You would have second thought of buying that. You now the month of July, August, the third quarter of 2024, it is the chapter of your life where you are so independent, so romantically so mature, and you are exactly on the right place in your life, in money, in love, in career. There's so much abundance and love and support that you would get the third quarter of 2024. And this is all about, it's also connected to being grateful, to being mature. That's why you feel like this is the life that I want. So by the time September comes along, I want that life. I want that kind of lifestyle. So I'm going to keep it. I'm going to maintain it. So there's a lifestyle change. There's a life change. There's something that you will experience that this is the this is the thing that I want for myself long term. And to do that, you will apply a lot of magical discipline. So for example, oh, I want this kind of money. And if you want that money, you will be very disciplined and work hard to keep it or to maintain it. The month of September, it's all about maintaining what you have, respecting and loving and reciprocating the people that you have. Like july august september it is the month where you will finally meet your soul family in the next 20 years that you would keep it you will be very blessed or grateful because you have the right amount of people or support or love that you would keep it you would maintain it there's so much discipline that you would put to keep it okay it could be a property it could be a set of people or it could be a combination of like it could be a combination of life and money and people around you where this is exactly where i want to be you know so you're gonna find a way to keep it maintaining the sep september month is all about september month is all about being thankful grateful and maintaining the loving people your property your resources you're very low-key the month of september low-key because july and august you're gonna soar you are gonna the month of july and august is you're gonna explode revolution with lots of money new people strong alliance solid july and august is solid in love in money abundance support it's so solid spiritually as well so by september month that's a part of you i'm so contented i couldn't ask for more so you're all about low-key maintaining it like for the long term it's like you finally will have imagine you finally have you finally have the house that you want your dream house your dream job your dream car if you're your dream person your dream life for example if you finally have the dream life then september month it's a month where low-key i will maintain it i found my dream job i found my dream house 
I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna maintain it. You know, it's your dream. It's something so valuable that you're gonna find a way to keep it, to maintain it, okay? That is you. You're not very greedy, Libra. You're very grateful because it's so relaxed, September month. All about gratefulness. Now, the last quarter of 2024, ooh, there's a bit of challenge in here. Um, October, November, December, okay? So, October month, there is a bit of challenge in terms of your health. Um, eight page, the temperance card. For some of you guys, there is something about unexpected you know, for some of you, the month of October, it's a month where you could be, you could be low in terms of energy. Um, let's put it this way. I want you to know that the month of October is a month where the universe would like to transform an area of your life. It could be one or more area of your life that is needing transformation. The universe is telling you the month of October, there might be a couple of challenges that it, it's the most challenging. The month of October, it's the most challenging. In fact, October and November month, it is the most, I wouldn't say it's difficult. It's more of like October and November, it's a month where you will be challenged. Because the universe would like you because august july august september it could be that you're a little bit in your cloud nine or comfort zone that it's time for you to have a bit of a challenge october november the universe the advice to you is enhance your problem solving the month of october and november it's all about problem solving Okay, your skills for problem solving or troubleshooting, it would be activated. There is something about your health that you need to change or look into. There is, there is a bit of red flag in your health, okay? I don't think you're going to die, sorry. Uh, it's not like that, but there is a specific area of your health that you need to look into and improve. It could be high blood, it could be low blood, but you need to look into that. It could be as simple as um, it could be as simple as um, your metabolism, or but it's something that's fixable. Okay, problem solving, Libra. Now, October, November, there could be something of a unexpected money okay there is some unexpected expenses in the month of october november on top of that you are regulating your health all of this is can be solved okay temperance card do not ever think that the universe is punishing you no they're not punishing you you are being advised that whatever is being whatever you have to do october november it will really allow you to fix something in the area of your life that could affect you in the future okay so october november it's all about troubleshooting it's all about it's all about troubleshooting it's all about troubleshooting problem solving the temperance card in here do not hesitate to ask for help there is some unexpected expenses or money that you need to pay out do not worry you will get it all back again so you will end october and november month with all of your problems solved okay you can relax by the month of december okay the month of december ooh, someone is going to be this is a specific person nine of cups the moon card Oh, lover's card. So, I would say the month of December, it's a soulmate month, okay? October, November, if it's all about health and wealth problem solving, 
the month of December, you feel very powerful because you survive a bit of a health scare or a bit of a wealth scare. That December month, you are committed to be like you will realize the one thing that you will realize in the month of December is that you are responsible to your life okay you're very cautious the month of december you will find yourself you're very cautious you're very respectful of your time your body your soul your money that the month of december you find simplicity because the nine of cups is that you are grateful thankful you solve the problem you survive something and this is I don't know it's you're, you're very cautious like you won't even let's look at yeah three of cups i don't know for some reason the month of december you're quiet the month of december it could be the month where you feel so quiet you feel introvert you feel you feel soulful there's something about in the something of us it could be an after effect of october and november month that you solve a very big problem that you want to reflect it's very soulful you could go for a vacation in just quiet moment december month is very soulful quiet that nine of cups your friends your family your lovers will be missing you so you will never be alone <laughs> the month of december you want to spend it in reflecting in recuperating in regenerating because this is you king of pentacles i'm thankful i'm grateful I want to reflect. I want to be on my own. I want to be an introvert. But the thing is, your friends, your family, your lovers, your soulmate, they won't leave you alone. So eventually, you want to be an introvert. You want to move away from the crowd the month of December. But you're so loved by your friends, your lovers, your family, all of the people that uh, loves you and miss you. They won't leave you alone in the month of December. So eventually, you realize that you know life is good if it's celebrated okay basically but there's a part of december month that you would be introvert that you will go into reclusion reflection and the world will miss you and the universe will push you back to social media i don't know maybe you're gonna disconnect with social media but you're gonna go deep introvert quiet but you won't stay long because lovers will come friendship will come you could be possibly getting married or elope. You will do something so quiet. The month of December, most of your decision, it's quiet. It's underground. So you could be getting married quietly. You could be going abroad quietly. It's more of like your activity in the month of December, nobody knows. So your friends, your family will just be surprised you got married. Or you, they're surprised you have a business. Or they could be traveling. So you're very introverted but you cannot escape your friends or family those people you love will look for you and they will find out what you're doing so eventually you cannot hide what you're doing the month of december and eventually you will realize okay let me celebrate life with the people that looks for me a lot of people will be looking for you the month of december they will look for you they will search for you they will ring you they will ring you they will message you until you come out of your cocoon so december month as much as you would like to be introverted you don't want to celebrate it you will celebrate it your friends your family the soulmates that you have in life they will look for you you are celebrated libra okay so this is your reading libra thank you so much for being here thank you so much for your support and please don't forget to click the bell and click the subscribe button libra please thank you for the love notes for a specific private reading uh, go to the website and um, thank you for the love notes thank you for shouting me a coffee and i'll see you soon again guys you have a great day happy 2024 libra bye bye